Hello. I know there's a lot of good videos out on YouTube on how to load a kayak onto a vehicle. Um, I know because I've watched them. Um, a lot of helpful hints out there. I'm not as young as I used to be and not as strong as I used to be, so I struggled the uh, first couple, well, yeah, first dozen and a half times putting this thing on top of the car. And I ended up coming up with a couple of uh, unique things, I think, that uh, they definitely helped me. and. I thought I'd share them. Uh, if they help anybody else out there, uh, it'll make me happy. So uh, let's get to it. Uh, here's how I load my kayak onto my car. I guess I'll start at the beginning. Uh, this is my 22 year old Grand Prix, which does all the work in transporting this kayak. Uh, obviously, it doesn't come with a roof rack, so. First thing I had to do was figure out what, what roof rack I wanted to get. And I ended up getting this Malone Versa rack. I absolutely love it. Um, I had read reviews online that some of those roof racks that you know bolt down to the um, door channel, you know, more of a permanent type installation. Um, I read reviews where some of those things actually went flying off and uh, people's kayaks went with them. So. The thing I love about this is the strap goes through the vehicle. This isn't going anywhere. Um, the other thing that you can see I did is I installed a pool noodle on the rack. Um, it's a three and a half inch diameter pool noodle. Um, the center hole, uh, I actually didn't have to do anything. It kind of uh, slid through the rack. It was a little bit of a work, but uh, I got it on and um, it's worked out really, really well. So, uh, like I said, as you can see, this thing straps through the interior of the vehicle, um, ensuring that this roof rack is not going to go anywhere when the doors are closed. I saw some videos uh, online that recommended taking uh, like a tie strap and running it between these two, looping it and tying it down to create a, a load assist that you can put the front of the kayak on as you try to get it up and over. Um, I came up with a DIY idea that works really well for me. I absolutely love it and I figured I'd share it with you. It's this. Um, I took some one and a half inch PVC, uh, built it to length, put some pool noodle on it, and then uh, it goes on here like that. And then what I do is uh, take a bungee cord and I wrap it around this a couple of times to keep it in place. And that way it won't come off. It stays on well enough that uh, the kayak won't push it off. And I actually leave those things on um, once I have the roof rack installed and I'm transporting the kayak, I leave them on all the time. So um, I'll show you how I made them. I built one for the other side as well. And I'll show you how that, uh, I'll show you how this all works. So to make this load assist, um, I bought these pool noodles off of Amazon. They're three and a half inch diameter. Um, and then I use one and a half inch PVC uh, to create the, the load assist. Now obviously this doesn't fit on here very well. So what I ended up doing was um, taking a hole saw. It's a one inch hole saw. I run it in reverse, uh, put it on like that, run it in reverse, and it cuts a really nice hole. Um, I was surprised. I was shocked how well it worked. And then the PVC fit right on it. So bought a couple of right angles, put them, uh, painted the thing, and uh, ended up with uh, something that works really well. Um, I'll show you here in a second. Most of my um, challenges with loading this kayak have come due to the shape of this rear keel right here. It's a point. 
And uh, as soon as I lift up the front end, the thing becomes unstable. It just wants to tip one way or the other. It's so heavy, um, it becomes a struggle uh, just going back and forth. In fact, uh, let me show you. So most of the people recommended uh, getting the rear end of the kayak in line with the roof rack. Uh, so the boat's at an angle, lift it up, and then slide it over onto the roof rack. What I do is, uh, or what I was doing, is I'd, I'd get one hand in this, uh, this hole, this uh, opening for the motor, another hand, you know, underneath here, lift it up, and then swing it over. And get it up onto the, to the roof rack. From there, I would just lift up and slide it on. So to solve this instability problem of when you lift the front end of the kayak up and uh, it pivoting on the rear keel, I figured out I could use my kayak cart um, to give it some stability. And uh, there's a, a perfect right position to put it in, at least uh, with the wilderness cart, and that's when the, the rails line up with the keel. Um, and doing that ensures that uh, when you lift the front end all the way up, that the rear keel still uh, clears the ground. Otherwise, uh, it'll get hung up and you'll be struggling dragging the, the keel across. Um, so in order to make this work, I use two straps. I cross them. Um, the front strap goes to the back of the frame, essentially pulling the cart forward. And the rear strap goes to the front of the frame, essentially pulling the cart backwards. So it, it keeps the cart um, in the exact same position as you're moving the kayak around. So with the kayak on a cart, um, I can lift the front end easily without it becoming unstable. And then I, uh, I try to get a grip underneath this again, and then just lift it up and set it on there. And uh, it goes way, way easier. At this point, I can just uh, remove these straps and lift, uh, lift the kayak up uh, and then slide it on straight across until it grabs onto the other uh, rail assist. And now it's just a matter of uh, sliding the front end and the back around, keeping it on the, uh, what I, got, I guess what I'll call the uh, rail table. So, that's how it's done. So to remove the kayak, I just reverse the process. Um, what I do is grab onto the handles, slide it back a little bit, and then uh, again, keeping it on the table the entire time, I kind of slide the front, the back, the front, the back, the front, and the back. And then I slide it back until that, uh, little notch engages the far side load assist. At this point I can just uh, tip it up and I can slide it down until that notch grabs onto the other load assist and then set it down. Um, and then to get it off of here I, I do my old method of grabbing into the hole and underneath Lift it up and then just set it down. And uh, that's how I load and unload my kayak. I hope this uh, 
this helps somebody um i know it's it's way easier on me um if you got any questions about anything you know leave them in the comments more than glad to answer and uh thanks for watching